welcome back to Juice Your Own Path, guys. So, how's everybody doing? We're in the shop. We just did a 3D printing for our airbrush, which we'll be using later on. We just got information that our airbrush is on its way, but it's being sent to the wrong address kind of thing. Might have been a typo somewhere. I don't know, whatever. So I just contacted Spray Gunner. And they're going to fix that all up and contact whoever and hopefully it comes to my address, not the neighbors. Neighbors are good, you know, they'll give it back to me. So today, what are we doing today, guys? Well, we're living on lack of sleep. And that's only because we're dying. No, we're not dying. The leg is just kicking my ass again. Huge cramps in the back. Waking up every hour, maybe getting an hour or two of sleep. Shit. I hate it. Still gonna work? Whatever. Got a piece of cottonwood. It's roughly. Let me get you the dimensions here so I don't tell you something I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. Well, the whole. The thickness is four inches. Alright, so if you wanna see that, it's upside down, but it says four. Um, but this little point where we're carving is about two and a half to three inches. Where the hell are you? Two and a half to three inches. Something like that big. All right, and the whole piece is roughly about, oh, we're gonna say 21 inches long. The owl itself, it's gonna be a little owl. We're looking at three and a half inches, sitting on a rock base, horned owl. All right, so we've not done a horned owl. Not that I know of, we're gonna try one. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get our cut saw tool out. We are using today. Where did it go? There it is. No, it's not. Where did it go? So I'm going to pen. All right. Well, there it is. So our flame burr. Now, what we're going to do with the flame burr is we're going to get the rounded part out. Now, when I do uh, my images on cottonwood. All right. So. I guess sort of like a relief carving. I'll give you an example. Dust, the dust, the leaf, like that. So that's my dragon that I did. There's his head, kind of thing. So it's not a full-bodied animal where you can see all around it. Um, it's just because when it's sitting on the wall, you're only going to see the 2D part of it, not all 3D, unless you're like you know, all around against the wall, kind of thing, looking at it. That's how I do, so you can see the image. So, um, we try to get at least enough roundness so for the owl, getting the roundness out, keeping it so that it is um, visible. All right, does that make sense to you? There'll be some places that are cut in deep, so the wings basically pull out, um, under the neck, sort of in the eyes, that stuff comes out. So. Not a long process, because this stuff cuts really easy. Like, we're talking really nice cottonwood. This is what I get. Unfortunately, guys, here's the problem, is I had one of my subscribers ask me if he could buy some. I made two mistakes. One was I didn't think of the shipping. I charged him an amount. I totally lost track of shipping, blah, blah, blah. A, I went to the post office and uh, the shipping was more than what I charged him. So basically, I was paying him for the cottonwood. That can't happen. This is, this, I harvest this stuff through the guy. It's through my company's guy. And he's the one that I have to put a percentage back to him. And then I make a couple dollars for doing all the work. So that was a bad thing. Second of all, shipping to the United States or further. Holy cow. Let me tell you guys, it ain't gonna happen right now. With the COVID crap going on, nope. It's just an issue. Like, the post office said to me that um, most of our stuff would be sitting for two to three months. Like, really? That's just crap. And not only that, shipping wood to the States, I've had one bad experience where one of my good friends and a subscriber, Charles Womack, uh, purchased some wood and that was a while back and it didn't make it through now the dealio was i i've always said you get your shipping back but not the price of the wood this man was so kind and good enough he just says don't worry about it we'll work out a deal later on in life 
and we'll figure it out. So something's going to go back to him one day. It's going to happen no matter what. Let's get on to the carving. Draw out your image, okay? Draw what you think is best. Use your imagination. Use your coconut, you know? That's what you need to do. I always take off the flaky, the, the, the easiest, like, if it flakes off, I take it off because that won't stay. If once you get sandy, they'll go flying everywhere. Some people don't like to do that. If you're doing whimsical houses, keep them on there because it looks, it looks rough and old. You could actually get, here's an example of stuff. You can get yourself some Mod Podge spray. This is a glue in a spray. And when you spray that stuff, it will actually tack it really well. Mod Podge spray. Use, we usually use the bottle stuff for when we're doing um, our builds for uh, styrofoam and all that. This stuff works really good for wood. It does. And then if you seal your stuff like I do, with epoxy, well, your odds of breaking it are a lot well, it just doesn't happen, but it sure does get dirty. Mike's shop is always dirty, so like, not dirty, but dusty. So we get dust all over the place. You know what? Easy rag, wipe it up. And that's the thing with epoxy. It's like wiping off a table, you know? You know, go back to clean. So let me get you set up and we're gonna start this. All right, guys, so we're gonna do a voiceover on this one because that uh, noise is just annoying and I've been doing it for too long. So we are just starting off by cutting out most of the uh, round part of the owl you can see i'm just doing the head part um be very uh careful with your burrs on these um carvings because just the smallest hiccup can end up really taking half your piece out uh cottonwood is very soft and very flaky so it adds to the design if you really break it <laughs> not really good so i'm just taking my time trying to take out the bigger chunks now here i'm just basically going about the body and bringing out the tail um, the wood was a little bit uneven and i had to really cut you know the sides down quite a bit nothing too hard once the design gets in your head it's so much easier so turning it around a couple times trying to get more and more of that cutout piece done taking out a lot of like the excess trying to trim it down that's important when you're doing the carvings you want almost like that 3d kind of, or 2d kind of look where you know the feathering um say the front breast feather is higher than where the tail feathers are there's a lot of uh, a lot of work involved but I mean it's not impossible because like I said this is very soft wood working on the rock structure or the yeah I think that's more of, I think I was a rock or maybe a wood structure I'm not really sure but it worked out and like I said just trying to thin out those under the breast part so that the wing looks like it's more you know presumed outwards um very 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 lightly i'm not going crazy i'm not putting my hands right through it uh you be very careful with the machines you use because if they jump on you well i've had a piece where i think at the top where the horn is it did um come apart uh having a respirator and the shop vac is the best thing too. And just to find underneath the horns, I really wanted those to pop out so you could actually turn the piece kind of sideways and you could see what I was doing there um, when you're looking at, at an angle or from the side view, you'll see that the horns of the owl um, are actually just stuck on the wood they have come out like i said i don't do the whole 3d look uh it would take a lot of the wood out and you have the chances of breaking this wood very easy all right so we got some sort of a shape going showing on you the easy. somewhat of a design that i did a little um, bit of fine detail on the body we're just going to take a break it's supper time all right they do So here I took another bit again, 
Um, Cutsall is probably the 99.9% .9 of the time I'm using uh, their bits, though I have to sometimes use the Sabretooth bits because uh, I didn't get or receive, you can see that's a long straight uh, burr that I'm using from Sabretooth and it allows me to cut under the neck part. It's not as deep as say the flame burr that I have. You really want to make sure you got the tooling guys, it's important. Separating that head from the body to make it look more realistic uh, works really well when you just use your imagination. I have a uh, caster of uh, the owl that I'm using that I keep on looking at. I didn't show it on camera yet, though, um, or I never showed it at all. So, but these burrs do work. They, they're very, they're very good. I'm, I'm using a Fordham on this project. I didn't use the Proxon for this one, though I could have. Uh, either way, my Fordham is my go-to all the time. It has more power to it, so really want to make sure that uh, something like a tooling that you have, rotor, rotary tool, get a good one too, you know, it's the way it is. So after a little bit of time spent on it, you know, trying to get a little more of the out of the backside taken out, you can see that uh, the owl is out of the wood. That's what we wanted. Working a bit on the eyes with this with this burr. It's really good. It helps helps out a lot. Though uh, we will be contacting Cutsall and purchasing um, something similar to this when I find it. Uh, unfortunately, with the COVID and everything going on, we're not uh, getting very much coming through the mails. It's just not fun at all waiting for your tooling. So you do what you do and keep on going. So same thing here, just really shaping it out, making making everything so that the owl will basically pop out of the wood. That's what you want. Uh, when I worked on the uh, feathers, I didn't show that in this video. I used one of those little Chinese burrs and I just made little circles that you'll see probably in the next couple sections here of the video. Uh, here, I can't seem to see what I was doing. Um, working on something. Unfortunately, when I'm talking, I have the recording kind of piece in my way. Alright guys, so we got our owl sitting on something. We don't know what that is, but it's something. It's another tree rocky kind of thing. We did all these crazy designs on the top, just a bunch of swirls. So now we're just going to sand it. So um, just taking normal sandpaper. So just get yourself some normal sandpaper because cottonwood sands very fast, very easy. It's very soft wood. Right? So you just want to round them out. Get everything all, all to what you want. with that and the thing about the sandpaper with cottonwood is uh, you could actually just you can do a whole design just with sandpaper you'd be surprised it's just that that easy to work with but again it's very brittle so you have to be careful as much as it's easy to work with it's easy to chip off pieces, you know, you could ruin, you ruin the whole design. And I don't want to say that too fast because it will probably happen. But you could ruin the whole design just by pressing down too hard on your project with it. It's just the way it is. So get your, your piece all sanded out. smaller bit all right so 
on attached already. And we're just gonna just do some fine sanding. So again, I'll try to do that out. We'll see what happens, all right? guys so that took me about an hour I burnt it and what we're gonna do is we're gonna put some Danish oil on it and that's just gonna darken it up make the wood look nice and pretty we're using a sponge brush so we can get into all the little cracks Cottonwood, yeah, one of the easiest woods to play with. Easy to make designs, you know, stuff like this. I think it looks really cool. The nice dark stain to it. Brings out all the nice wood. Put on my lazy Susie here so I can spin it around a bit. <laughs> And this I just let it, even if it pulls up, I let it sit, kind of just take it out like that, like let it drag itself down. You really want to get it stained everywhere. Let it soak in. Get that whole piece kind of nice and nice and wet. And then tomorrow she'll be dry. So not that hard of a project, like I said, it took me a good hour. <clears throat> yeah, I've been doing it for a while. Doesn't mean, you know, I'm any expert level or nothing. It's just based on using your imagination, guys. Just get that thought, that process of what you want it to look like. And it's gonna, it's gonna turn out, no matter what, it's gonna turn out nice. I guarantee it. So we're just gonna set that out like this. Like I said, just put it on nice and, this is the Danish oil, so it turns this wood pretty dark. We'll see what it looks like tomorrow when it dries. Should stay pretty dark. We're gonna get the backside to it as much as we can. We want to get all of it so it seals it, protects it. Like so. Get the rest of the stain on it. Like I said, try to get it all over the place. And all the little cracks. What I do is I just kind of do this to it a couple times, just so if there is any excess, you know, you can see it, it'll run off. I have it on my Lazy Susie, which is okay. Basically, this is, it's old. Just allow it to be on there. <laughs> it's not like I'm bringing it in the house. What if it kill me? All right. So there you go. See that any better? This is the right angle. I think it turned out okay. What do you think? Oh, anyway, the camera's at a bad angle. That's what we got going on today. Took an hour, not that long. We'll cook it here. Listen to Metallica. Gotta love it. You always get music in your ear, guys, girls, whatever you want to be. See if I can do that better. So you can see that. Nice little piece to hang on your wall. 
see what it looks like when it dries and I don't think it's going to dry any lighter. Cottonwood is has a when it hits stain it darkens really good. I mean if you like that kind of look I think that looks cool from a distance. Maybe even sand down the bird a bit the owl just to, so that it's not as dark as the other side. But like I said we'll see what it looks like in the morning. All right done another video great stuff like subscribe share uh tip jar if you want it throw in the bottom cuts all tools link at the bottom check the cuts all tools out that's what i used cuts all tools man to do that that fordham <clears throat> broxon i guess if you want to use a dremel go ahead um any kind of rotary tool it'll spin it it'll cut it get yourself some wood try practice have fun you don't have to be great you don't have to be good you just have to have fun right so thanks for watching if i could do it you can do it choose your own path guys be good to one each other stay safe all right later